evening everyone, it's currently 6.45 p.m. here in Bangkok, Thailand. So today, I'm back to one of my favorite night markets here in Bangkok, the Ram Gampang Night Market. So this market here is my favorite because you guys know I'm a foodie and I absolutely love exploring the streets. And this market has everything I love. Cheap food, huge variety. So that's why today we'll be exploring this night market and I'm gonna show you how cheap food can get in Bangkok. Without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Today with me, I've got around 10 Australian dollars, which is around 250 baht. Let's see how much we can buy with just 10 Australian dollars. We are currently at the entrance of the night market. Let me just show you the view from here. So, as you can see, this market right here, it's always super, super busy. And today is a Monday, so... Usually I thought weekends would be more busy, but Mondays look really busy today as well. These vendors, they, their locations change all the time. So for example, this store right here might not always be here, it might be at a different location. So, right up there we've got some sort of egg rolls. Here you can find sushi. Got some chicken biryani as well. We've got jackfruit. I'm not exactly too sure what this is, but it looks spicy. And some skewers. So, four skewers. And we've got some desserts here. Sweets there. Oh, maybe not. This looks, yeah. We've got more skewers. And then got some sweets. <laughs> Churros. Of course, the mango sticky rice as well. For 40 Thai you can get a decent mango sticky rice. Got it Baby Street. And let's go back to the side. And some egg tart journeys. And here we've got some traditional Thai dessert. This is. So this is something very unique here in Thailand, the uh, sour mango. So we go. And then we've got some sashimi here, some crab legs, more jackfruit, or just durian. I actually can't tell which one. Some omelette. Wow. Buy more shoes here, you know, your Jordans, your Nikes, your Adidas, whatever. You can find it all here. So, some slippers. So, this market here is designed in a way so that when you finish that site, you have to explore, you have to walk all the way, the longer route, to explore all the other stores on the way and come back to this site. Because as you can see, this site is completely blocked, so you have to go the long way. Now that we're on this site, let's start buying food. So the place I was looking for is a spoofy place, but I don't think it's open today because normally it's at that counter, but it's not here today. Oh, it's here. Yeah. This is the lady. So this right here is my favorite store in the whole night market. I've got the blueberry smoothie with Oreo. So here you've got different flavors. We've got the lychee flavor. Strawberry flavor, blueberry flavor. And what flavor is this? This one. What, what is this? Is this passion fruit? Do you know? Coconut. Coconut. Oh, okay, coconut. I see. Ah. I came here six times, night market. I visited this lady six times. Because <laughs> uh, this is the best store in the night market. So this smoothie is not your typical smoothie. So underneath there, at first, she put yogurt at the very bottom. So yogurt and then the blueberry Sweeties. 
and this is super delicious. What makes it delicious is the yogurt underneath. So when you get to the very bottom, you start tasting yogurt, it's like eating froyo. Froyo with, oh, so she just added condensed milk onto the top. So how it works is yogurt, smoothie, condensed milk. And on top, we're adding Oreo as well. Oreo, yeah. <laughs> It's very uh, auto, not much. Guys, if you're here at Ram Camp Hand Night Market, make sure to say hello to this lady. She makes the best smoothies in this night market. How much was it again? 30. Samsip. Samsip pounds. Okay. Cup kun cup. Thank you. Again, make sure to visit this lady when you're here at this Ram Camp Hand Night Market. Thank you. Anyway, guys, let me show you this movie. For the bottom, that's yogurt. The second layer, that's blueberry smoothie. Third layer, that's condensed milk. Fourth layer, that's the Oreo. So this one right here, again, this lady, I don't know where she'll be next time, but you have to find this lady. She makes the best movie. Absolutely worth the money as well. It's 30 bucks, Samsung bucks. So as I was saying, this $10 Australian dollars challenge just at the smoothie store, we spent 30 bucks. So now we've done a 220 bucks. So let's see what else we can find here. There's also this another store that you must check out when you're in Ram Cam and Night Market. So this store is actually some sort of coconut waffles. I don't know how to describe it, but Coconut waffles is the best I could describe it and the best way to show you is to actually show you. Alright, let's go. So this is a special coconut dessert or waffle that I was talking about. So as you can see, they put in these like small grits right here and they cook the coconut. So that the crust is super crispy. So I believe this one has like some sort of spring in it that one is corn. So different, so different ones here have different flavors. So that one's spring in it and that's scallop and then we've got you know, um, corn. So oh, hello. Oh, my dear. You remember me? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I've been here too many times, and every time when I'm here, I say hello to this Patrice, so, so uh, they remember me now. <laughs> okay, take selfie. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, my mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So, guys, this is a must try dessert when you come to Ram Kham Hang Night Market. In Thailand there is something very unique as well. So, for example, raw prawns in spicy sauce, raw salmon in spicy sauce. So, yeah. so it's something that I honestly haven't had the courage to try it yet. <laughs> but uh, it's a very popular dish here in Thailand. As I was saying just then, for you to get to the other side, you will have to. So the market is designed in a way so that you have to walk the long way across all the stores and then take a bigger route back to the other side. So that's what we're doing here. And as you're walking on this bigger route, you see a lot of stores next to you, from you know, glasses, bags, undies, uh, bed sheets, pillowcase to, um, yeah, bags. So last time I came back from the islands after the island hopping tour in Kok Chang, Kok Mat, Kok Kut, and I came to Bangkok, and the first thing I did was I looked for this night market right here. Because this market, I felt like you can find everything you need, you know, from daily items to all kinds of food. Okay, I'll get uh, one. Okay. Yeah, one egg tart. Okay, cup. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. The second thing we got at this night market is this egg tart. So, this one here costs 20 bahts. So now we're down to 200 bahts. So we still have 200 bahts to spend, which is around $8. This reminds me of the egg tarts back in Hong Kong. So delicious. I remember when I was um, back in Hong Kong, every Sunday I would do yum cha and would order the egg tarts. This reminds me back home. Alright. Is this moo? Is this moo? Is this moo? Okay, I'll get one. No. <laughs> yeah, just one. Thank you. Pet noi noi. Little bit, little bit. Okay, kapun kap. So two fox skewers, 10 bucks. So now we're down to 190 bucks. Okay, so let me show you properly. So this is the two pot skewers I got and all together that's 10 bucks. So let's try the big one first. I don't know what the difference is. The lady was trying to explain it in Thai, but I didn't know what the difference is, but we'll try it. It's very nice. There's just pop balls. Maybe it's just pop balls in different shapes. It's crazy how one is only five bucks. Now I'm very intrigued to find out what's so different between the two skewers. As I suspect, it tastes really similar, so I don't really know what the difference is, but 
I think they're just in different shapes. Maybe. So this way, I think I might be full before I spend that whole 190 parts. So I'm not too sure if we can finish the challenge. So here at this market, you can also buy some delicious soy sauce chicken as well. So this one right here is 50 parts. So I wonder how much it is for the whole chicken. Wow, it's delicious. Saudi cup. Saudi cup. Can I get a shrimp? Yeah, one shrimp. Yeah. No cow. Uh, no cow. No cow. <laughs> I'm actually very curious to see how it looks like inside. It's a shrimp place looking thing. Wow. Uh, chili. Pet, pet. Pet noi noi. <laughs> little, little. Pet noi noi. Yeah. Ah, uh, cow. Thank you. How much is this one? Uh, easy part. Easy part. Okay, I'll, I'll pay for Easy part. So it's 25 parts, guys. It looks like some sort of fish, shrimp, shrimp cake. Is all the shrimp? Looks like some sort of omelet as well. I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it, but this right here tastes a bit like texture is a bit like an omelette, like a normal omelette. But it's also like half like shrimp cake as well. So just imagine it has the texture of an omelette, but it tastes like a shrimp cake. Mm. It's it's spicy, guys. It's spicy, and you know I can't eat spice, so. I'm low key dying a bit, so I might get a drink after this. But um, I believe there's some curry powder uh, on top as well. So that's why it's yellow, curry powder. But it's very spicy. So, um, pet mama, very spicy. Oh. Guys, I'm sweating. So I said pet noi noi, and uh, this is not pet noi noi. A few moments later. Thank you, it's uh, Aloy, Mark Mark. But a bit pet mama. <laughs> Thank you, Kukuka. Cool, cool. I think I might be looking for a coconut smoothie now. Okay, so after the leaf wrap trim paste, now we're down to 165 tire parts. So now we're heading back to the other side, and as I was saying, I'm not very time efficient, so we're walking back a long way again, going back to the other side. Okay, so we still have 160 bars left and I'm thinking to get one more main course, one more snack and one more drink and then that might be done. But I don't think that's going to be 165 bars, so we might have some extra bars left. This looks very very interesting but I don't know what it is, so I'm very curious to find out what it is. What is this? Uh, fish meal. Fish? Fish meal. Fish stew. Oh. Fish meal. Meal? Yeah, the okay. bowl bar. Oh, um, yes, I'll get one bowl please. Wow. Yeah, I'll get one bowl. Yes, okay. well, yeah, drawn. Oh, you've got noodles as well, awesome. Okay. So this might be our main course, so with the noodles, okay. yes. It is soup. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, chi chicken, chicken. Chicken blood. Yes. I see, chicken blood. Chicken blood, and fish meal. Fish, awesome, I love fish. Fish meal, fish meal, yes. Yeah, what do you say fish in Thai? Gopokpa. Huh? Gopokpa. Gopokpa. Thai called Gopokpa. Gopokpa. Yes, one. Wow. Two. Wow, lots of food. Thank okay. you, Kokun Cup. And, oh, what? Oh, no, no spice. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. All right, how much is this one? 40 baht. 40 baht. Yeah. Sisi. Sisi. Oh. Sisi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, look at that. All this for 40 baht. So now we're down to 125 baht. So, yeah, that's like equivalent to yeah, almost the mango sticky rice I got back in Phuket. So it's super expensive. But 125 bahts, you can buy a lot of stuff in this market because they're all ranging from like 20 bahts to 40 bahts. So super cheap, very delicious. Mm. I haven't uh, tasted anything like this before. But uh, a closer look, so you can see you've got some trick, uh, chicken drumstick, got fish, got some sort of got eggs and then I'm not exactly too sure what the other ingredients are but we've got chicken blood here as well but seriously guys the lady gave me such a big bowl so uh yeah the 125 bars I don't know if I can spend it as I was saying this area right here there are a lot of people just sitting on the grass so the last time a local actually told me that apparently there are lots of uni students after school they would just come and chill with their friends around so this is a really good place to hang with your friends and family just imagine buying lots of food from the food market right there and then all of a sudden 
you came to this um, this place to sit and just chill, just relax, and have a good time with your friends and family. So, yeah, this looks like a very wholesome, relaxing place to spend the rest of your evening. Yeah, <laughs> you remember me? Yeah. yeah. So last time I actually came to came here and I tried the chicken. The guy, it's very nice. Yeah, last time it was really delicious. But right now I'm very full. So, oh. yeah, next time, next time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for good cup. Bye. Bye. Alright, so now she's just shaking off the excess. And then those ones are ready. Next batch. Cup from cup. Easy, huh? Easy, huh? Easy, huh? Okay. Right here, we've also got some spiral chips as well. Okay. Can I get a known coconut smoothie, please? One, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Coconut juice. Yeah. Yeah. And then oh. coconut milk condensed milk. Okay, thank you. How much is it? Samsip. Samsip. Okay. 30 baht. Now we're down to 70 baht. Okay, so in there just then there was coconut milk, condensed milk, coconut juice, coconut meat, ice of course, and yeah, I think that's it. And some syrup, I think. So this makes a good coconut smoothie. So apart from the ingredients I mentioned just then, usually, I mean, most of them, many of them, they also put ice cream in your coconut smoothie as well. So extra sugary, but this time they didn't. So. I don't mind it because I think they added condensed milk, coconut milk, a lot of sugary ingredients already, so I think that's good enough for me. So this is the sashi cola. That's it for this video and if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop the like or comment down below it would mean the world to me and if you want to follow more of my solo travel journey make sure to subscribe to this channel as well because more exciting content will be coming up. Stay tuned, stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Justin, just out.